Is that clear? You guys, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I've got fish down there already. It's 651. <laughs> a little bit of a brag right now, you guys. I don't brag much, but uh, this is uh this is a big deal for me. Super, super windy. And uh, yeah, I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're gonna brag about a fish? No, I gotta brag about this. Look at outside. Pitch black. <laughs> I'm set up like literally two, maybe hour and 45 minutes before sunrise. Like this is a record for Clay and Chick Outdoors. I'm doing it, I'm really doing it. I'm uh, out perch fishing today. I didn't show any of the setup because it's super windy. You wouldn't be able to tell because I got the tent pegged down like super awesome. Otter makes very, very good product. If you peg it properly, you can like reduce all of your wind noise, which is so amazing for filming. Got two holes. I'm gonna run a dead stick on this side here, and then I'm gonna run an active jig and uh, like a tungsten jig and a mealworm here. So enough talking, let's fish. This is crazy, like I am set up. I've had marks coming through. It kills me sometimes like as I'm setting up. It's like the worst thing I, I probably do to myself is drop the flasher down too early because I all of a sudden I start to like see the marks and I like, I just want to fish. But I'm like, no Clayton, you gotta get everything set up and then you can fish. So this is like me kind of rewarding myself now. I get a fish, I get a fish. There we go, there we go. Oh, it feels tiny, it feels small, it feels small. <laughs> but the first one of the morning, 7-Eleven. So basically 10 minutes in and that's an hour and hour and a half before sunrise. I believe I looked sunrise it was 845 or something this morning. Not uh it's not that small. Like I'll take a fish like that perch. I hope this is what I'm in so in store for today. Just a bunch of perch. Oh, oh. Sign of life. Sign of life. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Sign of life. Oh yeah, do it. Do it. First mark of that in a long time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. First mark I've had in a while. Like, I mean like an hour and a half. So the bad news is, is is getting up really early didn't uh, pay off. The good news is I have lots of time left. If this is a perch, it's it's giant. Like there's walleye here too. If this is a perch, it's huge. Please be a perch. Please be a perch. Oh, if this is a perch, it's it feels heavy. It's gotta be a walleye. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Man, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> I'm all upset for a walleye because I thought it it was possibly a perch. Oh man, if I would have been a perch, it would have been a giant, giant. Uh, well, it's a nice Walter though. He is going to go into the frying pan though. You are going to taste pretty good, my friend. Well, at least there's a sign of some life for me because it's been a, Slow start for me, for sure. I was, I'm questioning my getting out here so early. As you can tell, it's a lot lighter. The sun is now up, or it's just coming up, I should say, I guess. So, hey, the good news is, is there's like, I'm just like in prime time hours, like right now, right? So that's the, that's the good news of it, at least. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. This feels more perchy. Yeah, that's a nice perch. Nice perch. That's what we're after today. Come here. That's what we're after today. Perchies. Perch, 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 perch. Got beautiful orange glow coming in right now. Okay. There is some sign of life after all. Sign of life after all. 
Man, it's nice being in the otter right now. It's, it's being this windy out, not having to put up with the elements outside. Loving it, I got more marks down there. I'm feeling good. i got my mojo back. Like I said, about, about an hour and a half of nothing going on. I thought when I caught that first fish right away, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be good even in the dark. Turns out that was not the case. I had a few marks come in like right after. And then I would, had nothing go on for, like I said, like an hour and a half, it was dead. But this is some of those prime time hours right now. Start of the day and I've got marks chasing me again. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh we'll get another one come from the bottom too. Two of them coming. Look at this one come up from behind it. Oh yeah, that one's more aggressive. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Just like that, bang, bang, bang. Like, that's, that's fishing in a nutshell. Like, <laughs> bites come and go. And you have bite windows, right? Like, they come and go. This is a small guy. Ooh, chikai, 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 chikai. Bites, your bite windows come, come and go, right? All day, they just come and go, come and go, come and go. So, you have to really, when they're there, when it does start to happen, you want to be ready to take advantage of the situation. Mealworms are messy. Ooh, that's a big one. I like it. Like it. Like it. Like it a lot. Dead stick. I wonder if I'm going to get any on the dead stick today. Like it a lot. Okay. More marks down there. Let's get back down. Get back down. It's on now. It's on now. Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, come on. Let's get down there. Marks. Marks, marks, marks. Come on, let's see if he'll chase right away. Yeah, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, come on. Look at that, like instant. I can't believe like that, how, <laughs> how there's just nothing for so long and all of a sudden just pounding fish here. Come on, this one feels better than the last one. It's nice, it's nice, not, uh, not a super slob yet, but it's nice. Oh, oh, you raise your fin there. That's a, it's a thick one though, for sure. Thick one, awesome. Look at this, let's just get back down there again. Part of me should be, maybe think I should be jiggling the dead stick a little bit too. Same time. Oh, dead stick, dead stick. Yes, yes, ooh. Ooh, this is the first fish I've caught on this rod. This is Frostbite's 39 inch dipstick. It's like the ultimate dead stick rod for pan fish. Cause it just got so much give to it. Look at that. Okay, dead stick went off too. Life's good. Life is good. Shit, I'll let you go. I'll let you go right away. Shh. I'll let you go right away. I'll let you go right away. Okay. I got a little tungsten jig on that one too. It's a nice fish, probably like a, I don't know, eight, nine inch or so. Looking for bigger though. Get you back down. Let's see if I can get a fish on this. Get this rod up in the air a little bit. See, like I said, this is a, it's a 39 inch dipstick. Look at that. It's just before the, the nice thing is, is like it'll load so much before the fish will ever detect something. It's just got such a soft action all the way back to like probably around here. So the fish will grab it and he won't detect anything's wrong with it. And you'll start to see the band, which will give you time to, to grab the rod and bury the hook in him. It's very, very nice. Very nice rod. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh yes, dead stick. That's a big perch. That's a big perch. Ooh, that is a big perch. That's a big one. <laughs> I don't have a mealworm on there right now. I have the eyeball, the walleye that I kept this morning. I think I need some smaller eyes, but that's a, that's a nice one. It's not a great big one, but that's a nice perch. That's getting more to that 12 inches type of thing. I'm curious, I'm thinking 12-ish. I'm curious, I'm curious, I'm curious. Is it a foot long? Is it a foot long? Oh yeah, 12 and a half. 
12 and a half. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's go down here with you. There we go. Such a soft bite. Soft bite. Like I could hardly detect it. Hardly. My dead stick was going off at the same time. I know I wasn't wrapped in it. I know that was a fish. Ooh, yes. That's a nice one. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, baby. You are a hump back perch. Hump back right there. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> they don't look as big in a 10 inch hole. I should probably could be using an eight inch hole, but I use pretty much a 10 inch hole for everything. That was such a, such a, such a light bite. And I could just hardly feel it. And I was ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. And all of a sudden I was like, as I'm ticking, all of a sudden there was just a little bit of weight on there. This is 36 inch light Royal Flush. You can't really see the flush part. I have the handle taped on. This is the medallion series series. So it doesn't have uh, the real seat in it. Just got the cork handle, just a little bit lighter. It's a, a really good perch rod. I have it paired with uh, a 500 uh, Sahara Shimano reel here. And then it's got five pound uh, braid on it. And then I've got either a six or a four pound floral leader on it right now. I can't remember what I put on this one. I know on this rod, I'm running just straight uh, four pound fluoro. I don't think, uh, you have to have too light of a line in this water, especially like it's like, it's like chocolate milk. I can like hardly even see my transducer really. The old chocolate milk. No, it's not drinkable. It's not that good of a chocolate milk. Come on. Eat it. Oh God. Yes. Ah, yes. A little bit of a lull in the action. Went to a different bait. Quite a bit bigger bait. Actually, I went to a, a dinner bell spoon. Something that can maybe just draw them in a bit more because I'm fishing. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice one. There we go. That's a good one. Look at right there. Dinner bell spoon right in its mouth. Uh, the whole theory behind that is something just to kind of draw fish in from a little bit away because I haven't marked a fish for quite a while. That's a nice one. Look at that big orange, orange fins. Awesome. Cool fish. Yeah, like I said, it's just something maybe to draw fish in from a little bit farther away. Because I am fishing a great big mud flat and it's like, if they're, they're 30, 40 feet away from me and they're not right, you know, below me, maybe I can just draw them in. And this thing's got nice little noise in, as you can tell. It's got a little bell knocked out in the center and then it kind of just kind of rattles around it's a, it's a little bit bigger spoon but i am chasing hopefully a monster perch so i went purposely with the bigger size right now there is a size smaller i could be using as well something grabbed my dead stick for a second but never hooked up oh it's back again There we go. <laughs> what do we got here? Nice perch. Nice perch. Oh, Chikai. Right in that top lip. Had a good, had a good hold on at that time. Come on. Come on. Nice fish. Probably a 11 inch or something like that. Built like a rock star. Built like a rock star. Oh, there is definitely a school down here right now. Come on. Yes. 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 Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Went to an eyeball seem to be a little bit more aggressive with that I know it's a big it's a big meal for them but it has no problem fitting in their mouth that's for sure we want to get we want to get a jumbo perch yet we're looking for a oh look at that here's this fin for me some more marks down there 
More marks down there. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. They seem to be more aggressive on that eyeball. Like I've messed around with them for quite a bit with the mealworm and they'd fall a little bit, but like right away that fish has come in and crushed it. So probably it's good to switch up the bait sometimes, you know. I debated about going to my truck and getting my minnows too, maybe. Probably would be smart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 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 Mark is digging. Mark fish is digging. We got a perch. Another perch. Another specimen target. Come on, quit flopping. Another specimen target. Yellow perch. Yellow perch. Ooh. There's a mark. Appeared out of nowhere. Come on. Come on. Oh, eat it. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. I'm trying to get to, down to my transducer. It won't let me. Ooh, oh, I have a double on. I don't think I'm tangled. Unless it could have swam all the way over there. Oh, this one feels pretty good. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I do have my other line. That's a nice fish. Let me get my other line untangled here real quick. Right there. That is a good one right there. Nice perch. Hasn't been hot and heavy, ladies and gentlemen, but we've been doing our best. We've been changing up lures consistently. We've been trying a bunch of different bait. I guess we haven't tried a bunch of different. We tried mealworms, then we tried a piece of walleye. But there, that's like even another color I don't think I've used yet. This is a pink and a white one. Five millimeter. Tungsten jigs are pretty cool, that's for sure. I'm struggling a little bit today with like what to talk about in the shack because a I don't know a pile about perch fishing and it's not like there's much to explain like I'm set up on a giant mud flat there's some deeper water off behind me and I'm basically just sitting up on this mud flat waiting for the perch to come up to feed now they're mostly going to be feeding on freshwater shrimp on this body of water for the most part but yeah it's all a waiting game right like waiting for the fish to come to me it's gotten nicer out now a guy could probably be hole hopping a little bit but i'm only gonna be fishing for another hour hour and a half and then i'm gonna be out of here so yeah that's all i got i don't have a lot to really say or talk about today so hopefully this isn't too boring Okay. <laughs> you guys are toast now. Okay. This is this is what they're eating down there. Freshwater shrimp. Match the hatch, baby. Match the hatch. Oh, it's gonna be game over now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. I knew it. I knew that shrimp would work. I knew it. I knew it. The only problem is I only got one left. Get out of that transducer. Oh, almost got stuck in the transducer. I only got one shrimp after this. Don't worry, you're next. Hopefully, I still kept my shrimp on here. That'd be the ultimate, right? That is a nice perch. That is a nice perch. Hook popped out. Oh, no shrimp though. That's a nice one. Right there. Oh, I got one more shrimpy left. I knew that was gonna work. I saw that in an kind of angling video once. Hip it with the freshwater shrimp. I'm assuming that's legal. It's pretty good. Look at that. Freshwater shrimp action, baby. Guy used the shrimps that came up as whole. Got one left. Well, bud, it's you and me versus the world. First mark I had with the shrimp though, bang on. Like, coincidence? I think not. 
are you kidding me? Like that's two for two. And, and both shrimp have been down there for like 10 seconds. I need more shrimp. I need more shrimp. I wonder if you got shrimp in your stomach. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Although I'm going to keep one. I am going to keep one. I'm going to keep one. I want to eat one perch. I think I'm allowed to eat one perch. I'm going to eat one perch. I know the limit's like 25, but I'm going to keep one. I'm going to keep a walleye and a perch for supper. And maybe we'll do like a taste testing difference thing. Maybe we'll do a video of that eventually. A little taste testing difference. I'm keeping this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That will wrap up this video. I'm happy with my um, the effort I put in. My my outcome was so-so. Caught, still caught lots of nice fish today. Nothing, uh, no PBs. I was really, I just had a feeling today was going to be a PB day. It wasn't. That means I'm going to have to try for perch yet this winter again I think thinking about doing like a 24 hour on the ice or something like that with perch maybe at some point maybe 48 hours or something just camp them and go hard so anyways appreciate uh all of the views lately and the new subscribers you guys welcome to the channel if you are new and uh don't be scared to hit that subscribe button we're going to be pumping out ice fishing content all winter and then plan us to move into some spring and summer stuff as well with open water so Thank you everybody for watching and uh, don't forget, get outside.